Welcome to another edition of the Political Empire. I'm politics editor John Bender for PE.com and the Press Enterprise. On the phone we have Ben Goad, our reporter from Washington. Ben, I understand Bob Dunton has made a pledge uh, in, during his race for the 31st Congressional District. That's right. Uh, Mr. Dutton has vowed uh, to serve no more than 12 years if he gets elected. Uh, the pledge is, is meant to be in keeping with the Republicans' 1994 contract with America. Um, that contract helped Republicans and uh, behind Newt Gingrich take uh, back control of the House and the Senate uh, during Clinton's first term. And, and their, their push for a constitutional amendment um, that would have instituted term limits on, on House members failed, but Dutton said he wants to, to stick to the spirit of that plan. So he would impose his own term limit of six terms then? Correct. And how many terms did uh, Mr. Gingrich serve? Mr. Mr. Gingrich served uh, 10 terms. He served uh, 20 years between 1979 and 1999. Okay. And how has uh, Dutton's opponent taken this pledge? Has he agreed to it? Uh, uh, he, he has said nothing, but uh, Mr. Dutton's opponent is, is Gary Miller, uh, and he has served uh, 14 years, so seven, seven terms so far, and, and is obviously running again. Very interesting. Thank you, Ben. Ben's also been covering the uh, race for the 41st Congressional District for us. And Ben, you wrote a story recently about uh, Democrat Mark Takano, uh, who's an openly gay candidate for Congress. Ben, is that an issue in this race? I know it was in, was it 98? Uh, 1994, it was a major issue uh, during that campaign, you remember. Uh, Takano was effectively uh, outed as being gay. And uh, this time around, his, uh, his opponent, John Tavaloni, has, has shown no sign uh, that he plans to make an issue of Takano's sexual orientation. But you, you don't know what outside interests uh, and super PACs, which are, are forbidden uh, from coordinating with campaigns, what, what they're going to do going forward. You know, they, their message is not always uh, what the candidate's message is. Now, ben, I know that there was a fundraiser recently with Barney Frank uh, out in Palm Springs. That's right. Uh, Frank is the, the longest-serving openly gay member of Congress. He's retiring at the end of this year, uh, but he, he is, uh, and Takano have known each other for years, and he uh, came out to, to Riverside County to, to throw a fundraiser for Takano. So Takano's really uh, embracing uh, support from, from the gay community. So it may not have been an issue or become an issue, but he's now using his identity as a way to raise money? Yep, that's right. And you also wrote this week with uh, reporter Jeff Horseman about Takano's opponent, John Tavaloni, Riverside County Supervisor. And I know that he has pledged to be bipartisan and work with uh, Democrats as well as the Republicans. But the Democrats are frightened. They believe that he's going to go in there and be lockstep with the conservatives. Is that right? Uh, that's what they're saying. I don't know if that's what they believe. They've they've certainly been trying to brand uh, Tavalonian uh, as as a, uh, a conservative a Republican who's not really in step with with the district, which is pretty evenly divided between uh, Democrats and Republicans. But uh, Jeff Horseman and I uh, took a look at at uh, Tavaloni's record as a supervisor and also as uh, president of the California. State Association of Counties, and, and in those roles, he's certainly broken with uh, the party. He uh, supported Jerry Brown, uh, Governor Jerry Brown's plan to temporarily extend some tax increases. He also opposes portions of the the, GO, the GOP's budget proposal, including the plan to, to overhaul uh, Medicare. He says that's too radical. But yeah, Takano and Democrats are warning that uh, you know they think he'll be a rubber. Or they're saying he'll be a rubber stamp for the GOP if he gets to Washington. Well, thank you, Ben, for the Press Enterprise and PE.com. I'm John Bender. Be sure to check out more news on PE.com.